In 2010, I worked at Walmart in Lafayette, Indiana as an overnight stalker. There were several shift managers, and one of them was Richard Allen, the Delphi murderer. I only knew him as Rick. I never even knew his name was Richard until I saw his pics in the news. I got a message from a former co-worker who was like, Is that Rick from Walmart? And I was like, Holy shit it is. Anyway, his wife also worked there at one time. She worked at the jewelry counter at one point, and I didn't have much interaction with her, honestly. She was very nice when I did see her, and I never heard anything bad about her. She seemed quiet, didn't say a lot, but friendly to everybody. As for Rick, I'll tell you all some stories in no particular order and my general impressions. These are not in chronological order just as they come to my memory. Generally, he was a funny guy. As a manager, I thought he was pretty all right at first. Not super strict, would joke around with you, laid back. He was one of the managers who might sit in the break room and eat with us on 2 a.m. lunch break rather than sit in the manager's office. As time went on, though, he became kind of creepy flirty. He would make inappropriate comments to the women. Things like, if we were stocking shelves and he came by to check each department, if we were bent over doing something, or bent over picking something up, he might linger, and if we asked what he was doing, he would smirk or wink and say, just watching you do your job. If it was a group of women working together and he had to come talk to us, he would say things like, what a lucky guy I am, and look us up and down things like that. We would all roll our eyes and tell him to quit. I honestly laughed it off. It didn't feel malicious. We were all just kind of like, that's Rick, and blew it off. The third crowd at most places have dark senses of humor and are a unique group, so honestly, we just blew it off and didn't take it too seriously. After work one morning, a couple of us went to his house. No, not his current house that's on the news. A few girls and a few guys, and we grilled out. I recall being in the kitchen somewhat, but mostly we just hung outside. I honestly don't recall anything weird about that encounter. Flash forward a bit. One thing I need to mention is that I'm a gay woman. My then fiancé and I worked there together. Over time, Rick kept making the random flirty comments, but we noticed he was making them to us more often. Then he started saying things like, Have you guys ever had a threesome? I bet guys are always asking you guys for one. Or, I bet all your guy friends would give anything to hook up with you girls. I wasn't offended necessarily, but was just like, Wow, this guy is creepy. One night we went to Burger King to get lunch, and we were picking up orders for several co-workers. They had all written down their orders and give us their money. Rick insists on going with us. He said, there's no way you guys can carry all that food and drink. I'll help you and make sure they get the orders right. We were like, whatever, dude. He insists on driving his car. We go to the Burger King, which is like a two-minute drive from Walmart. I don't remember what he asked us or talked about. I just remember feeling like he was a creep and I didn't want to be in that car. At one point, we were complaining that the orders were taking so long. And he's like, if you're late from lunch, don't worry. I'll make sure they don't count it against you. We can be gone as long as we want. And he winked. We both were like, get me out of here. We must have had a weird expression because he said, what? You don't like hanging out with me? Now, like I'm going to kidnap you or something? And laughed. Knowing what I know now... I shudder at that memory. He didn't do anything to us, though, and we went back to work. Another night we went to get Taco Bell on lunch break, and and it took us a while because the line was long, and we came back and he was like, did you guys have a quickie in the car? I wonder if the security cameras outside caught that. At this point, it was starting to get weird. My fiancé and I were like, this dude is creeper status. One shift, he followed us into the women's bathroom. He walked in a few seconds behind us. 
He made small talk for a minute, but we were super uncomfortable. We asked what he was doing, and he was like, oh, we had a report of shoplifted merchandise in here. I was just checking. Why? You don't want to hang out with me? We quickly were like, uh, no, and went to the stalls and shut the doors. He left. Eventually, we and some of the other women went to the general manager and said we didn't feel comfortable around him. It honestly was hard because the third shift crew is such a tight crew and word travels fast. Pretty soon after that, he got transferred. I don't know where or to what store or what happened after that. I honestly forgot about him. It's been over a decade. Imagine my shock when I see his face on the news and I start seeing things and hearing things like, Guys, is that Rick? It's wild. When I think back, I definitely felt like he was a creeper. One of those weird, gross, pervy men. And you ladies know what I mean. I never got murderer vibes, though. But I definitely thought he was a creep. And I had definitely long forgotten about him. And it's wild to think about.